Hello everyone, I am Erica Angel Munday. I will be discussing to you the components in finding a story. According to SOAP Instructional Manual, a story or news story is simply defined as a written or recorded article or interview that informs the public about current events, concerns, or ideas. A news story can be long or short depending on its newsworthiness or interest to people who watch TV, listen to radio, or read the newspaper or the paper. The second would be written, recorded, live, or taped, depending on the medium you use and timeliness of the story. The third will be the hard news and the soft news. Hard news is a type of story which is full of important facts and news items. There are two examples of a hard news story. The first one is an article on the alarming news strain of coronavirus. The second one is the alarming rise of HIV cases in heterosexual women. Soft news, on the other hand, focuses on the personal, more human side of a news event or situation. An example of a soft news or feature article will be a story about a senior citizen who battles against the virus. Now, let us proceed with finding the story. There are five story building blocks that we have. The first one is the character. A memorable story refers to featuring people who are directly involved in the issue or situation and are directly affected by it or have a stake in the outcome. As John Larson says, great stories begin and end with people. The second one is the place. A great story transports the audience to give them a sense of what it was like at the scene. Experienced reporters even use all their senses, not just looking and listening, but smelling and almost tasting a story using their observation so they could bring the audience closer to the story. Third is the emotion. It refers to a story that speaks to a human emotion, whether it is anger, joy, or empathy, is more engaging to the audience. As what Al Tompkins, a broadcast and online group leader of Ponter Institute, often says that people remember what they feel longer than what they hear. Fourth is the detail. A well-chosen details help the audience understand a story or character better. Reporters have to be keen observers so they can collect details that will improve their story or even looking for a multiple sources of information. And the fifth one, the tension or surprise. The story should make the audience want to know what happened or how it will all come out in the end. Tension may come from a conflict between characters or between a character and an opposing force. Reporters should look for turning points and moments that illustrate the central theme of a story and surprises that come up along the way. And let us move forward with the last topic that we are going to tackle for today, which is the story ideas. We have here a three story ideas. First, learn the community. We need to look at the government data on local demographics and the economy. Like knowing what is the current governance and how are the people's way of living. Second, cultivate curiosity. Keep your eyes and ears open for what's important in your community. Cultivate your curiosity by taking nothing for granted. Your observation while riding a jeepney can lead you to a good story. And last but not the least, track information. Look back and see what happened since the last report on a particular subject or look ahead to see what might happen next. Look for fresh angle on a predictable story that everyone will do, like building your story for a person who is not often heard from the news such as the poor people or the minorities. And that is the end of my report. I hope you learned something. Thank you for listening.